ingredient will be any which you all know sodium hydroxide and the third one is very familiar to you phenolphthalein this is an acid base indicator we all know what that phenolphthalein when we mix sodium hydroxide to phenolphthalein what is the change of color pink, pink. yes it turns dark pink so we will make dark pink disappearing pink understood now how to make it first we have to take a test tube we need to uh, pour some ethyl alcohol in it then we will put some phenolphthalein in it and then we will mix sodium hydroxide okay so let's do it distilled water this is ethanol okay test tube okay Done. Now this is solution of phenolphthalein. Acid base indicator. What is its color? Colorless. It is colorless. Okay. So we will put phenolphthalein in the ethanol. Done. Now this is the solution of ethanol and phenolphthalein. Then we will give some water in it. Okay, we will fill up to the three fourth of the test tube. Understood? Three fourth test tube. We will put water. Done. See? Yeah. There are some precipitate. Okay. Yes. Observe. Then we will put solution of. Sodium hydroxide. Yesterday we have put the solution of sodium hydroxide where in the turmeric jar. Today we will put the solution of sodium hydroxide by using this dropper inside the test tube. Oh! See, it is changing color. <laughs> See, now this is your disappearing ink. Wherever you throw it. After some time, it will disappear. But we have to take one precaution: we should not throw it in our skin. Understood? We should be throwing it maybe on a piece of paper or a piece of cloth. We can pour it on a piece of cloth and see it disappear. But we should not throw at animals' skin. Understood? Let's see, it disappears or not? It will take little time to disappear. it had already started disappearing see it will become completely colorless it will completely disappear let it dry and it will completely disappear it will take a little bit of time maybe 2 3 minutes
this much is okay? Yes, sir. Okay, enough. Fine. So now we have poured water. After this, this is a glass tumbler. We are going to cover this uh, candle with this glass. What happens? And one more thing, the water level will rise up into the glass. That also you will notice. Okay, fine. Now let's see what happens. Now okay, let us give some time. See, slowly. Ah, done. And so fast. So fast. So fast. So fast. Have you seen? And gradually, the level of water is yep. rising up. Yes. You may come. Yes. See, the level of water is rising. Can you see? Yes, ma'am. Because of the atmospheric pressure. So what is atmospheric pressure? We have surrounded in the air, okay? So there is air outside the outside this container. We have just we have created one vacuum inside the glass. We have burned the candle. So the candle, what happened? It has extinguished. It has extinguished due to the lack of oxygen. So oxygen gets decreased. Then it creates one vacuum inside the glass. That's why. The atmospheric pressure gives the pressure over the water surface. That is why it gets to the glass, the water. The glass is, there is no oxygen present inside the glass right now. Okay, so that means it is empty, it is vacant. So there is a pressure which is created on the surface, the surrounding water. Okay, so this water is going inside the glass and you can see the level of water is rising it is because of the atmospheric pressure did you understand everybody yes, so what did we learn from this experiment <coughs> what did we learn can anybody tell devanshi please tell me what did we learn from this experiment and that fire, to burn something we need oxygen yes very good and what else two conclusions we have drawn out of this yes we one atmospheric Atmospheric pressure. Pressure. 